fifth Sunday of Lent. Introduction. Dear children, as we come to the last Mass of our Jesus Club, we pray especially for all children everywhere that they may safely walk with Jesus and remain safe in His loving care. May God continue to bless our families and our world and give us the grace to always walk in His ways. Good morning, children. Good morning. Good morning, Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with each one of you. And with your spirit. My dear children, this Eucharist is offered for the good health and welfare of Patricia de Sam Lazaro and it is being offered for all our children who will be receiving their first Holy Communion in our parish on the 11th Divine Mercy Sunday, the Sunday after Easter. And we are praying for all our children, Aaron, Kalko, Ira, Almeida, Ayana, Fonseca, Cassiel, Joshi, Deanne, Miranda, Jenna, Mosquita, Mirel, Athaid, Rihan Pereira, Ronel Pereira, Travis D'Souza, and Xenia Kambata. So we keep all these children especially in prayer. What a wonderful occasion for them to receive Jesus for the very first time on Divine Mercy Sunday. And we pray of course for all our children. Children today, our Eucharist is going to be slightly different. I know how much you long to come for confession, but children are not allowed on the campus at this moment of time. So today we're going to have a little penitential rite for you during the Eucharist itself to prepare you for Easter. So right at the beginning we will have this penitential service. Uncle Tony has got all our slides ready and there will be no sermon, just a few points at sermon time. But right now we will prepare you for Easter and that is a little penitential service a kind of confession that you are making okay so let us now begin children so we're going to examine ourselves take a look at our lives why it is meant for children of course adults also will benefit and see where we have failed in our lives as Christians Tony you'll change the slide first slide <coughs> so Children is also a kind of review of some things that we have learned during the Sunday school, some of the quotation, Bible quotation that we have learned. As we begin this penitential service, we always come before the Lord in praise and thanksgiving. What is the Bible quotation we learned? What is the Bible quotation that we have learned? It says about entering with praise and thanksgiving. Enter his goats with th his, go his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Children, we have a motto for the Jesus Club. What is our motto, which we have been trying to live, and all that we teach you with its one aim in mind? What is our motto? Starts in W. And every Eucharist, we begin reminding you of your motto. Walking with Jesus, that is it, okay? So as children of the Jesus Club, what a wonderful 
friend we have in Jesus. So we want to walk with Jesus. And all that we have been learning is how to walk with Jesus. Because in Jesus we have a special treasure. See, what is the quotation that we have? We have learned. Christ, in whom I hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Good children. Now, you know, does Jesus forgive when you fail? Of course, we must always aim not to make mistakes. But will Jesus forgive us in the Bible? Do you remember some occasions when Jesus forgave those who made mistakes? Let me see if you can make out what is this incident. Tony, please change the slide. What is this incident? Jesus is writing on the ground. What is this incident? Jesus forgives the woman in sin. No? So that is one occasion. Do you remember any other occasion where you see God's love no matter what? Remember there were two brothers? Take a look at this. What does it remind you of? The prodigal son. Okay, he went away from home. He forgot his father and he lived a life in absolute, you know, in sin. But then when in his misery he realizes his mistake and he comes home. And what does the father do? Tell him now, go away from here. Take a look at the father over here. How he opens his arms to welcome him. And children, so that is our life. We are all sinners, no? In front of Jesus who is so wonderful. When we look at our lives, we realize we have failed so often. So now let's take a look at our lives. First of all, do you want to walk with Jesus? Of course you want to walk. Take a look at this picture here. So many people with Jesus. And here you can see right in front children. Because Jesus had a very special place for Jesus. And we want to walk with Jesus because, oh, he is the best company. Believe me, children. I love Jesus because really... I am a better person when I am with him. And I am sure it's the same with you. Here you can see children enjoying with Jesus. I wish I was a little boy in the arms of Jesus. Take a look at this picture. Walking on the seashore with Jesus. On the banks, the sea of Galilee. And here to the fields. Oh my God, what fun it is to be with Jesus. Walking with Jesus. Because as you are with Jesus... You become more and more like Jesus. Now who is this boy or girl on Jesus' shoulders? What a lucky girl or boy. And that girl at the side, Jesus is old holding her hands. Oh, that's so wonderful. And this is what we are called to be, walking with Jesus. Now when we want to walk with Jesus, remember I told you the children, this is our penitential service preparing for Easter. Did Jesus see when we walk with Jesus, that means Jesus is living a perfect life. And we want to walk with him because we will become like him. Take a look at this picture. What is happening over here? Jesus, a little boy, what's he doing? Daddy working in the background, talk, talk, talk. And mommy, what is mommy doing? Mama Mary, the Abba Joseph behind. What is Jesus doing? Learning his lessons. In those days, all learning was from the Bible. They had no other books. But see, Jesus, how sweetly he is at the side of mommy, learning his lessons. And therefore now for you children, I know the lockdown has been a difficult time for you. Have you been taking your studies seriously? It has been very difficult for mommy and daddy also, taking up your lessons, online classes. But have you been studying daily? Have you been doing your homework? If we have failed, which we all have failed in one way or the other, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Children, you know, one of the quotations, all children learn by heart. And when Jesus is there, you can see him in that picture learning. One quotation he would have definitely known by heart. And now you all know it by heart. Which is that one? The great commandment, greatest commandment. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus gave it to us because he learned this from his mommy. He took his study seriously. Okay? So children, now let's take a look. So we have made a failed in our stud, not, not studying regularly. We tell the Lord we are sorry. 
Now, you know, t- today is, or tomorrow is, yesterday was World Sparrow Day. When we uh, remembered, you know, when we were small, we had so many sparrows around the place. Nowadays, very few. And the reason is because we are not taking care of our environment. Take a look at Jesus here as a little boy. He found a little sparrow that must have been injured and he takes it in his hands. So care for creation. See, even in the house of Jesus, I'm sure they must have had a pet dog. Remember one or two incidents in the Bible about a pet dog? Jesus, I'm sure, we are 100% sure he loved nature and took care of nature. He speaks so often about the birds and the lilies and the sparrows and the plants and the trees. Do we take care of nature? Do we waste water? Do we put the lights off? Computer on the whole time? Do we see that it's on or off? If we have failed, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Children, did Jesus, we learnt one quotation about reaching out to others, starting in D. What is it? Do unto others what you would have them do to you. So now walk with Jesus, we look at Jesus and see him always reaching out to other people, always, always. And I'm sure we also try to reach out to people. Take a look right now, children, in your own home, because you have been mainly at home. Do you help out in the home, help your brothers or sisters or others, your neighbors maybe who need your help? Jesus reached out always to others. If we have failed to reach out, Lord have mercy. Lord Lord have have mercy. Did Jesus help in work at home? Is it given in the Bible that he helped? Of course it said that he was obedient to them. So take a look at this picture here. You have see, there Mother Mary busy, Joseph busy and Jesus also busy over there helping in the house. Do you help in work at home? Helping in the washing, keeping the table clean, keeping your, your shelf and your cupboard clean, your room. The place where you have special place in your own house. If we have failed, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Remember the passage we learnt about obeying our parents. Ephesians 6.1. What is it? Children. Obey your parents in the Lord. Come on. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Do you think when Jesus played games as a small boy? Of course he did. And do you think he was popular? Look at this picture. Everybody wants Jesus, no, you play with me. Jesus, no, you play with me. Jesus, we want you. Why? Because I'm sure he must have been so much fun. And I'm sure he didn't cheat. And I'm sure he helped others when playing. So when they're playing, I'm sure if they're playing football, he would have kicked the ball to the other boy who was not getting the ball. Saw that everybody was having a good time. When you're playing or when watching TV, do you allow your brother and sister to choose the channel they want? If you have failed, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Do we say our prayers? You know, Jesus, every morning he got up early and went up on a mountain to pray. Do you get up and say a morning prayers, your night prayers, your grace before meals? Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus visited people and enjoyed the company of people. And you can see how everyone enjoys his company. It's good. Where you go and you bring joy wherever you are. You can see how happy everyone is with him. Wherever you are, do you bring joy? Yes, no? But in case we have failed, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Jesus saying his grace before meals and of course after meals also. Do you say your grace before meals and after meals? Reminding mommy and daddy also. In case we have failed, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Do you forgive people? Take a look at this picture. What does this picture remind us of? The good thief. No? What did Jesus tell the good thief? What does the good thief say? Jesus, remember me in your kingdom. And what did Jesus say? Today you will be with me in paradise. 
so he forgives him. Do you forgive? Can you think of anyone you're finding difficult to forgive? <coughs> Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. And here you see Jesus walking, children walking with Jesus. We have just come to the end of our little penitential service because we, as Jesus, the Jesus Club, want to walk with Jesus. And now, let us say, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And let us say now the act of contrition together. Tony, please change the slide. All together. Oh, oh my, my God, God I, I am heartily, heartily sorry, sorry for having offended thee. thee. And, and I, I detest, detest all, all my sins because, because of thy, thy just church. punishment. But and most, most of, of all, because, because of they offend thee, my, my God, God, who art all, all good, good and, and deserving of all my love, I firmly resolve, resolve with, with the help, the help of, thy of thy grace to sin no more and to avoid the near, the near occasion, occasion of sin. sin. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And children, now let us say this prayer. We learned at the beginning, I had given it to you all. Let us say it together that Christ Jesus be with us wherever we are. All together, may, may Christ, Christ shield me today, Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ in me, Christ above me, Christ beneath me, Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit, Christ when I stand. Amen. And now, children, we need to be strong and of good courage because we have Jesus with us at all times. No? We learn this quotation, say, let's say it together. Be strong and of good courage for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And my blessing for you at the end of the little penitential service, you'll have learnt it by heart. May Jesus give you his joy and his peace as you trust completely in him. Let us now pray and carry on with the Eucharist. By your help we beseech you, Lord our God, May we walk eagerly in that same love with which, out of love for the world, your Son handed himself over to death. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. The first reading. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah, not like the covenant that I made with their fathers on the day when I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, my covenant that they broke. Though I was their husband, declares the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, declares the Lord. I will put my law within them and I will write it on their hearts and I will be their God and they shall be my people. And no longer shall each one teach his neighbor and each his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me. From the least of them to the greatest, declares the Lord, for I will, give, forgive, will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sin no more. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Your responsorial psalm. Create a pure, pure heart for me, O God. Please repeat. Create a pure heart for me, O God. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your merciful love. 
according to your great compassion blot out my transgressions wash me completely from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin your response create a pure heart for me o god create a pure heart for me o god renew a steadfast spirit within me do not cast me away from your presence take not your holy spirit from me your response create a pure heart for me o god restore in me the joy of your salvation sustain in me a willing spirit i will teach transgressors your ways that sinners may not return to you your response create a pure heart for me o god your gospel acclamation glory and praise to you o christ please repeat glory and praise to you o christ if anyone serves me he must follow me says the lord and where i am there will my servant be also your response glory and praise to, to you me, o christ the lord is with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john glory to you o lord children open your hands like this sign of openness to god's word at that time among those who went up to worship at the feast were some greeks so they came to philip who was at beth from bethsaida in galilee and asked him sir we wish to see jesus see everybody who wants to meet jesus and we are so fortunate we can walk with jesus Philip went and told Andrew and Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus and Jesus answered them The hour has come for the son of man to be glorified truly I say to you unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies it remains alone but if it dies it bears much fruit whoever loves his life will lose it and whoever hates his life in this world will keep it for all for eternal life if anyone serves me he must follow me walk with me and where i am there will my servant my friend be also all of us if anyone serves me the father will honor him see we are lucky now is my soul troubled and what shall i say father save me from this hour but for this purpose i have come to this hour father glorify your name then a voice came from heaven i have glorified it and i will glorify it again the crowd that stood there and heard it said that it had thundered other said an angel has spoken to him jesus answered this voice has come for your sake not mine now is the judgment of this world now will the ruler of this world be cast out and i when i am lifted up from the earth will draw all people to myself He said this to show by what kind of death he was going to die. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you Lord Jesus Christ. Children I said I'll just say a word in the, about the reading since we had a longer penitential service. No sermon but just a word. In the first reading we are told that God will write his his law. Where will he write his law? In a hearts so if you want to, of course we must know the 10 commandments and all the uh, how to live a christian life but now we have it written in our hearts god whispers to us in our hearts what is right and wrong you remember your garden guardian angel prayer let us say it together angel of god my guardian dear to whom god's love commits me here ever this day be at my side to light god to rule and guide so to guide the our guardian angel is there to guide us and we have to listen to the voice of our guardian angel whenever there are two choices should i share not share one voice the devil will say don't give why give does the other person give you but the guardian angel say give no matter what you want to walk with jesus no so listen to the voice within you your guardian angel telling you what to do okay children so remember this always listen to that voice in your heart 
and that voice of the guardian angel will always tell you what is the best for you. Let us now stand up and profess our faith. Come on children, now no being lazy and sitting at home the whole time. First let me get it. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of body and life, everlasting. Amen. We now bring our intentions. Loving God, hear our prayer. As we make our personal prayers, we lift up our Jesus Club children, celebrating their birthdays. Gabriel Parmar, Irvin Desmond, Ronel Pereira, Chanel Rodericks, and Kristen Pereira. Bless them abundantly, O Lord, and guide them in every way so they may grow in your grace and love. For this we pray. O loving response, God, hear our God, prayer. Hear our prayers. We pray for all our children who are receiving First Holy Communion. I read out the names again. Aaron, Ira, Ira Ayana, Cassiel, Deanne, Jenna, Mirel, Rehan, Ronel, Travis, Xenia. And we pray for all of us children that we may truly walk with Jesus, our best friend, every moment of the day and night. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us make our offering. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Share in divinity of Christ. Share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. We wash the iniquity, cleanse us from our sins. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise, praise and, and glory, glory of, of his, his name. name. 
for our, for good, our good and good, and good of, of all his holy, holy church. church. Hear us, Almighty God, and having instilled in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith, graciously purify them by the working of the sacrifice. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride and contribute to the feeding of the poor. And so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as we acclaim. children Hosanna Hosanna Blessed be Jesus, whom you sent to be the friend of children and of the poor. He came to show us how we can love you, Father, by loving one another. And he came to take away sin, which keeps us from being friends, and hate, which makes us so unhappy. He promised to send the Holy Spirit to be with us always, so that we can live as your children. God our Father, we now ask you to send your Holy Spirit to change these gifts of bread and wine, into the body and blood of Jesus Christ our Lord. At the night he was betrayed, the night before he died, Jesus your son showed us how much you love us. When he was supper with the disciples, he took bread, gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. Jesus has given his life for us altogether. Jesus has given his life for us. The bound reverence, children. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Together, Jesus has given his life for us. Deep bound reverence. The mystery of faith. Together. Dying you destroyed our land. And so, loving Father, we remember that Jesus died and rose again to save the world. He put himself into our hands to be the sacrifice we offer you. Lord our God, listen to our prayer. Send the Holy Spirit to all of us who share in this meal. May the Spirit bring us closer together in the family of the church, with Francis, our Pope, our bishops, and all who serve your people. We now pray for our families and friends. Remember, Father, our families and friends, and our one special group, 
and all those we do not love as we should. Can you remember anyone? Remember those who have died. Bring them home to you to be with you forever. Gather us all together into your kingdom. There we shall be happy forever. With the Virgin Mary, Mother of God and our Mother. There all the friends of Jesus the Lord will sing a song of joy. Through Jesus, with Jesus, in Jesus, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, for all glory and honors, yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our friend Jesus is, has told us that our Father in Heaven is very fond of us. And so, let us say together, Our, our Father, Father, who art in Heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in Heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And give forgive us, us our, our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every form of evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy alone, we may be always free from sin and safe from all useless anxiety as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. For peace, Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with each one of you. And with your spirit. Let's turn to our family members and say, Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, not I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only, but say, only the say the word. word and my soul shall be healed. Let us say our prayer together, pray before communion. O good Jesus, to thee I pray. As you come into my heart today, give peace, happiness and health, the best of thy heavenly wealth, not only to the ones I love so dear, but to everyone both far and near. In the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, bring us all to the fullness of life. Amen. Let us say a prayer after communion. Lord, in my heart you have come today. Hold my hand and lead the way. Let me know what's right from wrong. Keep me safe and wise and strong. Tell me, Lord, what you have planned. Lead the way. Lord, hold my hand. We make this prayer to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. We now have the notices.
Yeah, it is here. Sorry. Next Sunday, 28 March is Passion Sunday, Palm Sunday. Given the continuing rise in COVID infection in Mumbai, there will be no palm distributed as these could be a source of infection. Our Eucharist will continue live streamed at 8.30 a.m. and 7 p.m. from Monday to Friday. The Station of the Cross on Friday 26th at 7.35 and Palm Sunday liturgies on Saturday 6.45 p.m. on Sunday 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. will also be live streamed. There will be no children's mass next Sunday. The Jesuits of St. Peter's offer you a Lenten mission, a tritium of half-hour reflection on the meaning of Lent this Monday 22nd, 23rd and 24th of March from 7.30 p.m. after the evening live-streamed Mass. On Thursday 25th March, Father Thompson will lead the parish in a reconciliation service from 7.30 to 8 p.m. live-streamed on our YouTube channel. The Sacrament of Reconciliation, Confession and Preparation for Easter will be from 5 to 7 p.m. on Monday 29th, Tuesday 30th and Wednesday 31st of March in the School Assembly Hall. We invite your generosity to direct electronic transfers to the church bank accounts, the details of which are on our website. We are grateful to those who have already used this way of contributing. And children, you are reminded that next Sunday and Easter Sunday we will not have the children's mass but a regular Eucharist, as we just mentioned. But we will have our last Jesus Club Mass for this year on Divine Mercy Sunday. That is the Sunday after Easter. It will be the First Holy Communion Mass and it will be at 11 a.m. Okay? Please stand. The Lord is with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. And adjourn in final hymn.